We are going to talk about Instagram, which is like kind of like what we talk about, but it involves the Kardashians. So do you do you have like you have strong opinions on this? I believe you said I yeah, I kind of found this interesting. <laughs> you disagree with me about this. Uh, you think that the Kardashians are complaining about the changes in Instagram because they aren't willing to put in the effort of making a reel or any video content. I don't think that they are creative enough to do so. They have a reality they show that's to, like almost half scripted. Yeah. They um, are perfectly willing to put in effort to, you know, gain notori notoriety on these different platforms. It's not like they even have to try anyways. I was just saying, uh, there's a weird disconnect here because one, it, they're so big it doesn't matter. They could yeah. make uh, reels about anything and it'll get gazillions of views. But I do laugh at it because I think of the fact that their brand, they, they are not, their, create, their, their type of brand doesn't translate the same way uh, independent creators' uh, brands translate to internet culture. Yeah, I suppose you're right. It's less organic, but their reality show is their yeah. version of trying to be relatable. But um, I disagree with what you were saying um, about images on Instagram being lower effort than a video content. Yes. I think it's actually the other way around because a static image has to be perfect, like flawless. They hire a team of people to do hair, makeup, clothing, photography, editing, and then they have a social media person who posts for them. I see a lot of them repost the same photo. They do brand deals with sta yeah. with static images also. Yeah. Uh, I, I maybe it's just me, but I would I'm more interested in the video element of it. But I understand like it's you objectively want to, more interesting. Yes, you want to keep things the way that they were, and uh, the algorithm has absolutely been just destroyed. Yeah, Instagram is supposed to be Instagram, I thought, yeah. but um, it's true that they have been kind of like ruining their their algorithm on their home yeah. feed by prioritizing reels because they want to copy TikTok the way that they copied Snapchat and they want to promote recommended content instead of the content like purely the content that you followed. Yeah. Uh which everyone has been complaining about. It's mm -hmm. just that when the Kardashians do it, it matters more because they that's, have more sway. They have like cachet on the platform. That's more my point is like, yeah. uh, if you want to get anything done in the world now, don't do it yourself. Just convince a celebrity to do it for you. That's what you need to At do. At least convince celebrities to do your complaining for you because then it will actually have results. Um, Cause people have been complaining about Instagram screwing up its algorithm for months. And Longer only now do years. they address that complaint. So have they changed anything or they're just planning to? So it says uh, Instagram will pause features that users have campaigned against and complained make the social network too much like TikTok, mm -hmm. according to a report in the platformer tech ne newsletter on Thursday. Celebrity sisters Kim Kardashian and Kylie Jenner uh, were some of the most vocal users to have posted messages on social media this week calling for the company to make Instagram Instagram again. I love how Donald Trump has officially, like, that is like a, t like, you can make anything, like, make America great. Like, it literally is. Like, that would have never been phrased that way before. For <laughs> yeah, years I ago. like it. Did you I see like the, it. did you see the Andrew Schultz bit about the, the MAGA hat? And he, ta he talks about, like, no. it's, like it's a white people's teardrop tattoo. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's, it's incredible. It's, you have to listen to it. That's he talks funny. about it. It's like, it's like, everybody who does it, like, chooses violence because the hat is the last thing you put on every day. And it's like, you're going out, you look in the mirror, like, how hard do I want my life to be today? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it says, uh, let's go back to our roots with Instagram and remember that the intention behind Instagram was to share photos for Pete's sake, the petition read. Changes included playing up sh uh, short form video, displaying it full screen the way TikTok does, and recommending posts from strangers. That part sucks. The recommending me posts from people I will never, uh, would have never looked for. I find a goal, like a, there's like a, a diamond in the rough every once in a while. The guy with the cheetah who makes recipes is I know fantastic. you love that content. I love that. They, they Wait, wrap there's recipes. There's a guy with a cheetah. He, 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 he's like, like, yo, a cheetah. Thing. And then he's the cheetah goes, what's up? And then he does like, like <laughs> he tells him how to make food. I know. It sounds really stupid because it's really puppet? stupid. And Brett likes it's a puppet. Oh, I, it's okay. a puppet if you, that If I hadn't seen your hand, I thought you were talking about a real cheetah. Yeah, no, no. It's I, a good... I, I don't know. I'd believe Sorry, it at this we're point. Insane. Um, it's a it's a puppet that's that, but anyway. That that's, aside really from cute. Brett's doom scrolling habits, uh, <laughs> which I've been working on. Yeah, uh, this reminds me of in like 2016, 17 ish. Um, Snapchat was like really popping, and then I think if it fell off particularly when the Kardashians started using Instagram more because Instagram adopted the stories feature 
And that was a great decision for them. And I think they're trying to replicate it with imitating TikTok and it's not landing the same way. Well, but when they started talking openly about how they were switching you. from Snapchat to Instagram, people just like the NPCs they are, were like, okay, I'm not going to use Snapchat anymore. I'm going to use Instagram because the Kardashians said so. Yep. Wasn't the <laughs> um, adding stories to Instagram kind of inspired yeah. by Snapchat? Yeah, it was entirely a copied feature. So usually the That's things why that the they Kardashians do, Kardashians switched over. They do them because they see other apps doing them and that they're successful and could be good for the app. Yeah, I think that the reason this tiktok imitation isn't working is they're trying to make a for you page instead of the home feed that everyone is used to mm -hmm. when like on tiktok you always knew that your home feed was going to be unpredictable mm -hmm. on instagram you want only the curated list that yeah. you followed otherwise why would you have that curated list on tiktok you have a for you page and a following page mm -hmm. you can look at the people you follow only if you want to yep why doesn't Instagram have the same option? So it just doesn't translate the same way. Yeah. Um, but it was just interesting to me. I was like listening to a podcast about Snapchat actually like and it's heyday in 2016 or like in and around 2016 um, just the other week and how it was a place for celebrities to be accessible to people and be more like real. Yeah. Um, they were, yeah, quote unquote real. They could like take videos and use filters and it, it looked like you and you could like do the same thing. I don't know. That was kind of cool for its moment. And then when they switched to Instagram and the, um, the AI filters, like the face filters became a lot more advanced and a lot more options are available. It snowballed into something not as organic as it used to be and i just i don't know i felt like mentioning that I, i'm like obsessed with talking about social media did you did you see any of the people that uh, they did like oh man we're gonna give hobbit what he wants uh who who like <laughs> did all the he put filters on all the people at the amber heard giant depth trial he put like weird big eye filters and like uh, and like facial filters on all of them so really? it looks like they're crying the whole time oh the crying filter yeah, is like, the best filter yes uh <laughs> it's terrifying it's it's, it's actually you mean it's, the, the cartoonish like frowning one yeah, or like, like a realistic did, a realistic oh that's hysterical so crying is so funny yeah <laughs> So it says Tony Tony Tone, who I okay. Uh, Instagram <laughs> is trying so hard to compete with TikTok that they're trying to become another TikTok. If I wanted to see video after video from random pages I don't follow, I wouldn't be on Instagram. Do what you need for what we need from you and bring back the photos for our, from our actual friends. So, like, is it trying to be Facebook that's entirely personal and you're following your your grandparents on there, or yeah. is it trying to be TikTok where you're a nobody in like a swarm of? Of Other the comment nobodies. sections, yeah. like yeah. they they're not really able to find that balance, and they're finding they're trying to find where they fit in there. So like they they yeah, they and they're, they're screwing with the algorithm every once in a while in a way that's very noticeable and annoying. The every Sunday, dude, yeah. every Sunday my algorithm is a mess and completely different from like it. It feels like social engineering and weird, like a weird experiment that they know they're doing on you. Where they're like, <laughs> we're just gonna f with just this see person. See how thing. you respond because yeah. they, you know, I, I've said this before, but they like track your swipes. Yeah. They oh, know yeah. where exactly where your finger is and how long it's there, how long you're looking at one thing without interacting with it. It's like very creepy when you think about it. So uh, what, what should the Kardashians do? Would you like to see more reels from the Kardashians or photos only? I had to, when I was, I when know. I was I don't making them, anything from them, when I was making the thumbnail <laughs> for today, I even, I even Join joked with you. I was like, I was making the thumbnail that had a picture of, uh, of Kylie and Kim. I'm like, I don't want to have a word covering up her forehead. She put a lot of time into the, the makeup to make her, her face look like that. So maybe <laughs> you're right. Maybe photos are just as much work for, for them. So. Yeah, they, I think they put a lot of effort into Instagram and I like that each platform can just be what it's for. Yeah. Like Twitter tried to add fleets, right? I don't even remember that. What's fleets? Right? What's fleets? Exactly. <laughs> I'm new fleets, to Twitter still. Like Twitter tried to add a stories feature that was identical to Snapchat and Instagram and some people adopted it. It was like a vibe for a few months and then they just decided to get rid of it because not enough people were using it because Twitter is Twitter. Yeah. It's like text-based platform, text content, not images only and not videos only. Um, you have to just decide what you are and stick with it. 
So what do you think for Instagram, it should be, they should just keep the algorithm soon? Because now they've also moved, like, it used to be like your reels were put in one place and your longer form videos are put in another place and now they're all in the same place. And I actually yeah, hate that. I don't like that either. I, I like... Because they, they're, again, they're copying TikTok in the way that TikTok has added three minute long videos and now 10 minute long videos. Yeah. And then where do you stop that because is tiktok just going to be the new youtube if they have no limit on the length yeah youtube is the place where you go for long form content yeah. so like to me like uh i liked it because i used to make different length videos like uh the stuff over a minute uh at that time you could only do in like if you filmed in widescreen you couldn't cut you couldn't crop it right so it would yeah. always show in full screen uh so then people started filming vertical i was like if instagram and tiktok have done anything in, impossible they have brought back vertical video like for sure like yeah. that's the, the fact that they were able to do that's incredible like yeah, the, single-handedly yeah like uh we used to film skating video you know, like the whole point is like filming skate videos uh long form with like a full-size camera now there's people filming them vertical i'm like oh mm -hmm. my god the, the world we live in i never thought we would end up back here it's absolutely ridiculous it must be more difficult to film skating videos that way too because it's, it's literally just a narrow yep. column that you're supposed to show all it's this ridiculous stuff in. yeah it's, it's ridiculous like I don't get me wrong I make skating reels and I film it that way but it is funny to think 10 years ago somebody would have just like been like what did you just send me if you sent him a yeah. clip like that <laughs> they'd have been like you totally screwed this up and then it's well yeah like and then you'll see like timelines where they have like a bunch of widescreen stuff and there's just one random vertical video it's, it's hilarious it makes no sense so yeah, they, they talk about their, so basically they killed this whole project and they're just going back to the old way. But it's not like you've got a sequential timeline. Where the hell is the se sequential timeline? That's what I want back. Uh, yeah, and mm -hmm. that's another thing. Twitter has the option to have um, a sequential timeline or things that are recommended as like the top tweets. Yeah. You need options. People don't like feeling that they've lost control over the content they see, even if you know the control is only an illusion in the first place. You know what that means? We need to. Do either of you have Kim Kardashian's phone number? I need Kim Kardashian's phone yeah, number. Yeah, I've got it. And we need to call her and be like, "Not you can't just say you want Instagram to be Instagram again. You need to say it with me, Kim. Sequential <laughs> timeline. Sequential." Time Are they line. going to be our social media lobbyists? Yes, we will turn the Kardashians into social media I lobbyists. I love that. That's, that's a great idea. We have to. They'll like, start, finally be good for something. Th yes, we we will have finally given them a reason, to, uh, everyone a reason to actually praise them. It's gonna be <laughs> it's gonna be beautiful. Yeah. Um, All right. Let's get to super chats. Let's do it. Brian Sheesby said, "There's a phrase, familiarity breeds contempt, but I argue only of the contemptible. I should be able to meet my heroes." Yeah, I what mean, do you guys think of if that? you if you That's go into it with your eyes with your eyes open and you understand that they're fallible and that like you can't expect like one thing that happens is a lot of people like they really like someone that they've never met uh, and maybe they have a, a small interaction and it goes really really well or they or, or something happens and then all it takes is like one thing that they say one thing they disagree with and they and they they blow up at them and they the, suddenly it's like yeah. you're not the person I thought you were uh, you're, you're horrible and, and it's because they have projected their own image of what they assume that you actually are onto uh, a fictionalized version of yourself and the problem is you can't ever meet up to somebody's wildest expectations of who you actually are I, I think I said that earlier the uh, like jokingly like oh don't meet your heroes yeah. but it can go both ways yep. you sometimes I've met people and I was very nervous to meet them and I really looked up to them and then they were just totally normal cool people mm -hmm. who I could actually just chill with and then I've also like encountered um, like pro skaters who you meet and you're like wow this guy is a total jerk it, I can't believe everyone thinks he's king uh, in, but, these, in those industries too I've noticed that like they're, like in, in skating like in blading there's so many like people with like social <laughs> Like they're just not good socially. Yeah, they're not bad people. They're not mean people. They're just kind yeah. of they're like they're kind of like me, who's like a quieter and not super social person. But uh, if you don't have the chance to have a personal interaction with them, that can come off as rude or dismissive when you don't mean it to be that way. Yeah, and that's a problem for. I've always thought that was interesting in our in, in those industries because your job as a sponsored skater is literally to be a marketing tool. That's that's what the purpose you serve. So like in our industry, people would get really angry. Like, why isn't this person a uh, sponsor? Like, because nobody would ever talk to him because he's because he like he would scare everyone away. Like, you yeah. can only your your talent only goes so far. Eventually, who you are as a person actually becomes a huge part of your market your marketability. That's true yeah. in in most fields, I think. Mm -hmm. But yeah, definitely. And you're, you're not paid to be good. You're skating. paid to be mark. You're 
paid to move product. Yeah. Yeah. But also with like how much you see of people outside of the projects that they're doing, whatever, if they're actors or mm -hmm. athletes, whatever, um, they have their own social media. People can create like these parasocial relationships where they feel like they know somebody and then when you meet them, it's not what you expect. It yeah. could probably be disappointing. And that's hard because you as the person, uh, as the object of that uh, person's, uh, of what happens, it's like you don't mean that to go that way, but yeah. you would have never been able to live up to that expectation. Because totally. you wouldn't have un understood their framework for the relationship the way that they do. Right, mm -hmm. but uh, Brian, I hope that you meet all your heroes and they are everything you hope for them to be. <laughs> <laughs> See, you should be able to meet your heroes. This yeah. is why she can, she can do this, because because she's uh, she's well spoken and she built a platform. Like not everybody who gets canceled can can build a true, platform. True. Like you know what I mean? Like uh, another person that happens to me, and I'm like, duh, 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 and I can't say duh. anything good. And then like uh, I can't apologize good. Yeah, if I can't do anything right, then then you're just screwed. So. <laughs> yeah. Um, bad app said as funny. someone with Leonardo DiCaprio tattoos, <laughs> I hope he doesn't get me tooed. Oh, th that was the thing. Uh, the name of the James Franco movie that he's going to be in is called Me You, which is. In the comments, somebody's like, James Franco's in a movie called Me, You. I think if he wasn't canceled for Gilbert Grape, he's probably <laughs> in the clear. He's fine. Am I right? Fair enough. Like, yeah, <laughs> he's probably good. Uh, bad episode, another one that you could say if you if you editorialize uh, just a little bit. I don't think I'm going to. You're going to skip that one. <laughs> Fair enough. Johnny Beck Thank sent you. a thumbs up. Thank you. Javi J said, Snapchat used to be the place where your girlfriend would send you naughty pictures. Now it's just your Ooh. aunt using a dog face filter. <laughs> I hope it's neither. I hope that they just annihilate it from the planet. I like, think I think Instagram <laughs> has like the, uh, the, like you can send pictures that disappear. I hope now. your aunt isn't sending anybody naughty pictures. And, and yeah. I don't, I don't Especially want not naughty dog face filter pictures. That's a <laughs> bad idea. The only good combination oh, is no. if your girlfriend sends you the dog exists. face filter pictures but that doesn't happen depending on what you're into <laughs> yeah if you're, if you're a furry and your girlfriend's a furry and then snapchat just, might be the spot for you, yeah, Dude, you i i just think snapchat is over in terms of like relevancy yeah i never had snapchat like some people still really are into it snapchat but it's only premium. for streaks i'm not streaks exactly are like sure how it works for high schoolers who don't have anything better to do basically thanks for watching this clip guys if you want to see full episodes or follow us on social media links are in the description below bye, bye.